my ranking of the Batmobiles in order from least to greatest. So let's get into it. This is AP. Thank you for watching. And if you like the content I'm providing, please subscribe to the channel. It's AP on the spot. Let me know what you think about this channel. I've been watching, following, I would say, some of the content stuff you've been posting on your channel. I'm a fan. I actually love when you post things. All right, ranking the Batmobiles. Here we go. Now, this is purely off of the theatrical films that were released in theaters. And this is just this. I'm not getting too technical with this. This is just off the eye test and the way the cars looked and the way the, they were just moving and doing their thing. And the action sequences based off of the films that I saw. This is just me strictly giving you my favorite ones. I'm not going too deep and too technical into it. So I would have to say number seven out of the Batmobiles in my ranking would be the Batmobile from the Batman and Robin film. Now, the movie was horrible. The movie was absolutely terrible. Am I taking that into consideration while while ranking the Batmobile? I mean, yeah, kind of, sort of, but the Batmobile just looked absolutely corny and cheesy as hell. I mean, let's just call it for what it is. The The Batmobile looked like it was something straight out of Toys R Us. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, or, or, or if you go into the toy section in a Target store or Walmart, you just pick it up off the shelf and you put it in a movie. I mean, it looked absolutely just cartoonish. I didn't like it whatsoever. So that's number seven. Number six was the Batman, the Batmobile from the Batman Forever, the Val Kilmer film, which I thought was, you know, it was a decent film, I guess, for the time when I saw it in the theater some years ago uh, as a child, teenager, early teen child. Uh, so that would be number six would be the Batman Forever Batmobile. And it was kind of sleek looking, kind of sharp looking. It had the, you know, the lights on the side to kind of lit up with the bat emblem on the wheels. You know, it still looked the kind of you know, toyish and Toys R us -ish and, you know, Hot Wheels cartoonish. But, you know, hey, I'm putting that in at number six. Then I am going to put the Tumblr in at number five. Um, and the Tumblr was obviously used in uh, two from 2005 uh, to 2008 in the Christopher Nolan uh, Batman films. Uh, you know, so listen, I've never full disclosure been a fan of the Tumblr whatsoever. I always thought it was more or less a vehicle that should have been used as a secondary vehicle instead of the main vehicle that Batman was driving in the in the films. Um, it was always more like a warlike machine, like a, a, a army tank. And, and that was the whole you know premise of the look that it was supposed to be like a, a, a army vehicle. Vehicle. But it was just always so big and so clanky and just it just, ne I, you know, it's, it served its purpose, you know, but it just never I never gravitated towards like that. It was just always so big and just so bulky and just it didn't look like a car whatsoever or a, a mobile whatsoever. So I'm putting the tumbler in at number five. Then at number four, I am going to put uh, the 2022, the Batman Batmobile, uh, the Matt Reeves uh, Batmobile, the muscle car. It's, it's just a, it's, it's, a, it's a muscle car. You know, it doesn't have any, you know, uh, when you first look at it, it just like it, it's a souped up car, you know, like not to hate on it or anything like that, because I know tons of people love it. But it's just one of those cars to where I'm just like, you know, give me some flash, give me a little bit of sleek sleekness to it. And it, it just doesn't give me that. Like when you look at it, it just doesn't give me that rah, like that flair to it. But but it's it's a very dope vehicle as well. So that's why I'm putting that in at number four. Then at number three is the 66 Batmobile, the Adam West, the, the one from the TV show, the Batman TV show, the Batman, the original, you know, the, one of the Batman movies and one of the first Batman movies that we got some years ago and back years ago, almost what, 45 years, some years ago. Um, but it was used from 1966 to uh, 1968, the Adam West mobile. And, you know, even though it's corny and even though it looks like, you know, it's, I mean, you know, I mean, we're talking some 50 years later. It has a, a very nice look to it still almost some 50 years later. It has like a smooth, sleek kind of look to it. And, you know, it has the two seater with him and Robin. And then you have the red, uh, you know, what, what do you call it? The red uh 
designs on the side of it, you know, to go along with it. And then it has like the bat emblem on the wheels. And so it's, it still looks actually formidable in 2022. Could you imagine if they souped it up and, and spruced it up? It would look even better if they did a whole redo or reboot of this car. And plus, it was the original Batmobile that I was introduced to as a kid from watching the show. But all that aside, I think it's definitely um, deserving of being at number three. Now, number two, this was difficult because I really like the Batman v Superman Batmobile. And, you know, it's, it's between that and we all know the original, uh, what the, not the original, but the Michael Keaton, the first Batman film in, in 1989, the original. Uh, the, the really the second, but really the first Batman film in 1989, not counting the Adam West one. Um, so anyway, number two goes to the Batman versus Superman Batmobile and the Justice League uh, Batmobile, which was used from 2016 to 2021. I liked it because it, it resembled an actual Batmobile, like something that you could act, would actually see Batman driving. I mean, it had the weapons on the side and it also kind of had like... Um, like a more of a, a army look to it as well, but it, it didn't go with the whole full on tank look. It it had like that that classic, you know, Batmobile with the the the, the long extension of the the front of the car and you know the batman could enter through the top and it was just i just liked it you know i just liked it i thought it was always a, a dope very very nice salute to i guess you could even say it was a, a, a slight nod to the michael keaton batmobile but it wasn't as long and it was it had more of a like i said an army design to where michael keaton's batmobile which is number one and i'm going to talk about right now was just pretty much a car that just looked it so sleek and so chic and so vogue does that make any sense vogue yeah we'll, we'll say it looks vogue and that was used from uh the years of 1989 to 1992 for batman and batman returns and uh yeah uh i like the car i mean how could you hate on on this batman car i mean michael keaton looks so so great i can't think of another word but batman michael keaton looked it amazing hopping in and out of this vehicle and we're gonna see it again in the flash movie the upcoming flash movie which is not so upcoming because it's not coming out to next year now next summer of june of 2023 but hopefully i know and i know we're gonna see this car again but you know how can you not love this car so that's why i'm putting the batman 89 batmobile in at number one